Milan 2017 special edition. Here with us a very, very special keynoting, uh, keynoter who opened this conference this morning, Salvatore Sanfilippo from Redis. Thank you, Salvatore. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thanks. It's uh, great to be here uh, at Codemotion uh, because it gave me the opportunity to uh, give a, a talk completely different compared to what I do usually. And uh, it's a huge conference, a lot of interesting sp speakers, uh, impressive number of attenders. And for me, it's uh, always uh, special to provide uh, 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 something to my country. So to talking here in Italy is especially cool. Thanks. We are trying to do an international conference, an international uh, inspiring conference, and uh, uh, of course you are a very well-known international speaker uh, because of Redis. Uh, Redis is right now one of the uh, most important um, uh, database. We can we can simplify in that way. But if you starting from the scratch, from scratch Redis today, uh, which programming language uh, would you like? To, to choose and how would you change uh, Redis if you would change something in Redis, of course? Uh, I think that I would pick uh, the C uh, programming language uh, again. This may be strange for, for s somebody to, to, to hear because uh, C is very controversial language because it's known to be very, very complex. Uh, uh, to use in order to write uh, reliable code, secure code, and uh, there are many alternatives right now that, that, that are possible. However, uh, in certain ways, the uh, Redis project was improved in a significant way by being uh, developed with such low level language, because in Redis, in, in what makes Redis Redis is the fact that uh, uh, you can control uh, with the C programming language the, the finest low-level behavior. So that's very important for me. There are alternatives that are as low-level uh, as C, that are the Rust programming language. Uh, I don't feel like the current level of um, maturity of Rust allows for a very popular open source project, but especially I believe that C is a very dangerous language in the ha wrong hands but in the good ends, it's still extremely tricky and there are potential errors to make, but it's possible to write, uh, if not secure, at least very reliable system code with it. So I would pick C again. Uh. Redis is very um, used um, database, but uh, second your opinion, what is the secret of Redis and uh, why Redis won the race uh, uh, respect to to its competitor uh, i think one one reason for sure is the fact that uh, it's a general tool so you can use it in order to um, model a, a number of use cases and also it's a very simple system so it's a simple uh, it's a system that the user uh, the, the developer can understand uh, in a limited amount of time uh, uh, it the developers uh, can understand completely how it works, and then uh, it's not th the developer with thread is not a passive subject, but can use uh, her or his creativity in order to understand how the tools offered by Redis can be combined in order to create solutions. So it puts the developer. Uh, uh, at the center of the process, and I believe this was appreciated. It's simple and it's understandable. So it's not like you, you have to, to spend months in order to understand uh, how to use it. And also the fact that it's an in-memory system means that the performances were very, very important. It uses a different model compared to other systems because there is this duality of memory and disk. And this allowed us to model, to stay at the edge of two use cases, storage uh, uh, and memory systems. So you have the advantages of memory, but with uh, uh, a good degree of data safety. And this uh, staying in the middle was very functional for Redis to become uh, successful. Talking uh, 
from the point of view of a developer, um, what is the most important aspect in developing uh, Redis? Uh, the performance, the maintainability of the code, what, in your opinion? Uh, for me, uh, reliability, stability is one of the most important aspects in software. I remember when uh, after Redis was just one year old when I joined uh, VMware and I had the opportunity to work with, with a very great programmer that's called uh, Mark Lukowski. It's one of the like eight people that wrote the Linux, the Windows NT kernel back then. And uh, I had a random crash and uh, he said, uh, you know, this is the kind of crash you should not sleep at night because you cannot allow your users to start to develop the mentality that they cannot uh, completely rely on your project. And then I started a debugging session that uh, went deeper and deeper and finally we found that it was the customer broken memory module. It was a computer that was broken on the software. <laughs> but still this was a very important lesson for me because I understood that people needed to associate Redis with uh, reliability. It's you throw it at some task and it will never fail, will never break. It has limitations, but the limitations of, of Redis are stated in the documentation. But other than that, sh should there should not be surprises. So reliability is the most important factor in software, in my opinion. Redis is an open source project, and probably this is one of the strengths of uh, Redis itself. Um, if you would like to uh, provide some advice uh, to someone who would like to start an a open source project right now, um, what is the, the most important things, second your opinion? I don't know, guidelines, license, what? Um, I would uh, outline three different uh, topics in order to reply to this question. One is the fact that you need to start small. You start with a prototype, a proof of concept that's complete enough in order to make sense. And then you organically build more and more and more and more. Don't start with something hyper complex. Then understand your users, your use cases. Uh, most importantly, start with something that you are a user of, not something like uh, astronaut design, like you are in space and you think start with something that you could actually use yourself. The second one is the human factor. Open source is about code, but it's about communication. If you are not able to communicate your project well, it will never become famous use then. So stay on Twitter, stay on Hacker News, uh, uh, write about your project, uh, keep your users involved, be honest, because developers are sensible human beings. They can detect if you are honest or not. Do it for the, 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 the community, the open source, to start. Think at it as a personal uh, uh, benefit only as a side effect of what you are giving to the community. Then uh, it will arrive, the uh, job offers, everything will arrive, but the focus should be the community. Third, uh, the cloud is changing a bit the open source landscape because now uh, for system software like Redis, you don't uh, have any way to directly reach basically from the point of view of supporting economically the, the project, the, the, the end user, because the cloud the vendors, for example, Amazon, Alibaba and whatever, will uh, sell your software as a, a service. It means that uh, the usual business models uh, for the software that are normally products and services no longer work as expected. So if you want to create an open source project just to give away, okay, pick like the BSD license, whatever you want. If you want to have a long-term uh, project that is able to monetize itself with an uh, economically su sustainable, uh, then pick the license in order to make sure that you can basically protect, protect yourself from uh, the cloud vendor uh, extracting all the value from your project. Salvatore, we are 
2,300 uh, attendees here in uh, Basel at Codemotion Milan uh, today, but there are thousands of developers out there who, who will see your interviews um, thanks to YouTube and our social channel. So what is the, 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 the ultimate advice that you want to, to do and you want to provide to um, to, to our follower, uh, to the new developer? Uh, given that uh, recently uh, humanity, the human factor is uh, understood finally to be important in software, I believe that the most important thing that you sh we should develop, I because IT is a new field, uh, it's just a matter of uh, decades, not like centuries like the other professions, to start to try to develop uh, a culture of uh, kindness. So to be kind with uh, your users, uh, with the, the maintainers of the software you use, with uh, your coworkers. Uh, I believe that uh, uh, software should be a friendly environment. So uh, uh, whatever is the technology we like, uh, what we love to write uh, uh, in the silence of our rooms, uh, uh, there should be always the focus of trying to be uh, respectful, f respectful of the other people's opinion. So allow free of speech, don't uh, attack the others, uh, allow for multiple pot potential uh, point of views uh, and don't stretch everything to a single uh, absolutism or something like that. Uh, I think that's important. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs>